You suck at cooking, yeah, you totally suck. Today we're making ice cream, not to be confused with creamed ice, the official cereal of Norway. Mmm, never soggy. The base of this recipe consists of only two ingredients, just like my favorite drink, water. Now we're gonna take two cups or around 500 milliliters of whipping cream and pour that into a bowl and get our motorized blendicles working at somewhere between three and 45,000 RPMs. If you don't like holding things and you don't have a stand mixer, you can make a duct tape mixer instead. Or you can use a whisk if you wanna turn your bicep into a thicep. And just whip that cream into a fury. You'll know it's furious enough when you get these jagged, soft, angry peaks. If you end up with hard peaks, congrats, you're actually hiking a mountain. Now we're gonna add a can of sweetened condensed milk, which you do by taking a can of regular milk and condensing it, and then add it in, turning this from whipped cream and condensed milk into whipped benched croak. Then we'll add two teaspoons of pure vanilla extract, or three if you want it really vanilla. Whoops, I lied. Turns out the base is three ingredients. And I'm also going to throw in a small pinch of salt. It's not an ingredient, it's just a rock. If you're ever wondering if salt belongs in something, just look at the ingredients, and if they're made of food, then the answer is yes. And there you have it, the ice cream base. One of my top 15 favorite colloidal emulsions. Once you freeze it, it'll come out like hard scoop ice cream. Ah, uh, just got vaxxed. Keep in mind it's only homemade ice cream if you make it at home. You can also make car made ice cream or forest made ice cream or shower made ice cream, whatever you want. The first flavor we'll make is cookies and cream. I recommend double chocolate disc vanilla sandwich cookie crisps as a good option. We'll grab our rolling pin, lay these cookies out on a cutting board and then smash them with a hammer until they're small enough to fit inside your mouth or the mouth of someone you love or the mouth of someone you hate who's lactose intolerant. As far as how many cookies to put in, it's somewhere between a load and a metric ton. Then we'll wang jangle those in there, then put that in the temperature plummeter. The way you turn this vanilla ice cream into chocolate ice cream is by adding chocolate. I'm adding this chocolate fudge sauce. You can use cocoa powder, which you might want to dissolve in water first, or chocolate syrup. I'm also going to try to create a bit of a fudge ribbon here. Then we'll throw that in the air densifier. For the last one, I'm going to mix in a teaspoon of fresh ginger dust. Then we'll put down a layer of ice cream and drizzle on some caramel. Then another layer of ice cream and more caramel. Then keep on doing this until you have authentic ice cream lasagna. This is ginger caramel surprise. The surprise is that you know exactly what's in it. Then we'll throw that into the winter box. But look, don't get wrapped up in these conventional flavors and think you gotta just make what everybody else makes. You can make potato flavor, ghost flavor, charcuterie flavor, matrix flavor, space flavor, Jackson Pollock flavor, climate change isn't real flavor, whatever you want, really. When you serve this, avoid scooping from the corner so it doesn't taste jagged. As you can see, the ice cream's turned out really nice here, and also my kitchen is a friggin' sauna, but it tastes best when it's a bit melted, so. Now you can put your ice cream on an ice cream cone if you want, and you can also kick Mother Nature in the balls while you're at it, since she already made a perfect cone called the carrot, which also makes your ice cream super healthy, which is all we ever wanted in an ice cream. Yum.